Let's open this bad boy. Let's see how this one looks. So, let me bring it centered at. Okay, nice. Hopefully they have enough documentation for me. Mm, okay, so something like this. I'm not gonna remove the cover first. Oh, that's nice. Actually, this is not DisplayPort. Oh, it uses HDMI. So this is like an external display. It doesn't use that DSi port, but it is supposed to be touch screen so let me check okay we have the documentation we have cloths for cleaning the display okay it does have everything let me take this out okay so what we got here okay so this is probably the stand where you can put the screen on it these uh i assume speakers looks like that the speakers too actually so here i'm just guessing there should be right and left maybe so this is the earphone power touch and display and there's another display here and there's also backlight and volume here oh this is a slider okay so you can play and increase and decrease okay looks nice there are one hdmi cable and one usb micro cable which is used to power this and there's also that is very nice this is micro so you can actually use this if you are putting it in a case or something these are for the corners and for the case okay let's read the manual so in the manual hdmi interface touch interface so hdmi is the regular the hdmi and then there is also touch interface which happens with the micro usb but i hope they have drivers and everything i guess because they were selling it on amazon as a raspberry pi touch screen so we're gonna check that so we connect to laptop or pc power supply okay so that's basically for putting the raspberry pi here oh i see there is this slot where you can attach the raspberry pi and use this basically like this to connect it to the raspberry pi port or similar boards which raspberry pi does not have a full-size hdmi and therefore they provided another one now it makes sense okay so they provided this one so this probably plug to raspberry pi and this is for this hdmi port here something like this so now you can put the HDMI of the Raspberry Pi in here, okay? But I was expecting it to be the DisplayPort display, so we can test the DisplayPort, but this is a regular HDMI touch monitor. Yeah, this is actually very nice. They provided so many accessories, and I think it was like 70 bucks, something like that. I don't remember. It was on Amazon. I got it. So they are saying Raspbian Mate, Kali even, and RetroPi. Wow, okay. Yeah, so there is a software, I guess for it not really no software they are just saying modify the config.txt and add these lines to it which is about the display and it looks like it's 1024 so yeah you have to configure that in the raspberry pi in order to make this display work and there is no documentation i guess for assembly or anything like that yeah, it doesn't seem like it but i think it's easy to figure out something like that i figured it out so the two on the corner in here you can basically so there is a hole in the middle of these so you just align this to this this way and screw it in so you do that same thing over here so that's basically the stand for the monitor so let me grab the screws they also provided a screwdriver i'm gonna use it so this is the screwdriver and this is the long screws for this monitor and it's better if you remove that tape the yellow tape over it okay okay that was easy so yeah we take this you put that in and remove the tape and we plug that in and screw with confidence okay i guess something like that no the other way okay so i was wrong this way I assume this way. There is not a real like assembly documentation. They assume that the viewer is not as dumb as me, so they will figure it out on their own. So yeah, it's not hard, but yet yeah, something like that. Okay, so we got that and it is like this. Okay, so you will be able to put that like that and use the HDMI cables. Sorry, this wasn't what I was intended to do, like using the display port. I got this one, but yeah, this one is also very nice overall. It's like 
like 80 bucks on Amazon that I just checked and it comes with display ports touch screen and everything so let me connect this using the HDMI cable provided by them to Raspberry Pi and see if it works out of box Hey, let's test it out actually with this one, the Rock 5. And let's see if it works with Rock 5. Oh, that was uh, its own in there. Uh, let me remove this. Oh yeah. So, yep, it is working as intended with honestly no change. Even the config thing was not necessary, at least not for me. So, and it's working with Rock 5A. I didn't even use the display for so HDMI. No modification needed on the config for me and it is working. So, let me see if I can get the touch. Okay, let me switch up. This one I don't have the desktop environment because it uses the open media vault. Let me grab the other Raspberry Pi. I'll be right back. Okay, so very quickly, let me also show you something else. So this is, this seems like you can remove the tape and it's sticking and you connect that to these ports. So two speakers left and right. So let me do that real quick. Okay, that one is in. Something like that. Okay, so you install the two speakers left and right and plug those in. All right, so I brought the old Raspberry Pi which I use in other videos and let's see how it goes. Okay. All right, so let's try this out and let me plug the power. Okay, and let's see. Oh, I see something on the screen. And also I noticed it showed that the speakers made some noises. So let's see. Oh yeah. So, yep, it is definitely working. Okay, so when it tries to go into the desktop environment, I think the resolution mismatch is happening and it's just blinking. So let me see. Okay, I guess yes. In order to get this to work, you need those config changes in the system. So let me make those changes and I will be right back. Ta da! We are back. So let me show you what I did. First of all, let me show you that everything is working. Okay, so we can use this like this and uh, you will be able to just, you know, use the screen. But let me show you what's happening in here. So in here, I only can connected the power connector as you can see so here we connected using their own uh, supply converter so HDMI micro HDMI to HDMI and in here I use their adapter as well as you can see so USB micro to USB a okay so here and this one is my keyboard that is irrelevant and they had the stands as you can see in here right so you put the stands underneath and then you can screw and lock the Raspberry Pi 5 in place to use it like a tablet and does have the speakers and it's very neat and it's very compact you know the only thing you really need is just power connection and if you want to take it away this is all you have to take away everything is in one bundle one package okay so we're done with that